everyone welcome sorry for taking so long i had to get my computer set up i haven't used it for a playstation 4 game in a while and i forgot i had to change some settings on my playstation 4 first so thank you for coming in today i did not plan the stream i was not planning on streaming today but after that e3 <laughs> i wanted to stream something from square enix so this should be fun i'm so before I get started, just a disclaimer, I am in the post game for Dragon Quest XI, so if you don't want to see that and you don't want any spoilers, please exit before I start because I'm already into the post game. So um, you will see all the things that have happened and I don't want to spoil anything for anyone who hasn't played it yet. So if you're like me, I have not played it until now. So even though it came out last year, I think it was last year and I didn't play it. So, but it's been fun. Yeah, I just, I need to, I wanted to stream something from Square Enix. <laughs> and I probably have to take some breaks during the stream too, because my mochi is ready and it's cooling. And when it's completely cooled, I want to flip it out into a pan with some potato starch. So that will happen at some point. I can't just, it's staring at me right now. It looks really good. I don't know if any of you make mochi at all, but the mochi that I made or that I've been making, I use a very specific brand of rice flour starch which is um interesting because i switched brands to a cheaper one because it was on sale and when i tried to use that brand of flour it did not come out the same it was not as good it didn't come out as tasty for some reason so i bought a box of the one i used to like or that i like that's more expensive and i used it and sure enough it came out perfect so i don't understand that i didn't think it would make a big difference but apparently it does all right, let's see. I need to make sure everything is working properly. It always takes me so long to get started. I was supposed to start at 11, but you know, I never start on time. Okay, let's move my microphone a little bit so that when I'm facing you guys, I talk right into the mic. I hope you're all having a good Sunday. I. I was very impressed. I'll be I'll be honest with uh, Microsoft showing today and Bethesda's. Wow, that was really great. Not a lot of games that I like. I'm not a big fan of shooters and everything, but it was pretty good. There's tons of games, lots of games, lots of new stuff. So that was really good. And then we got Squares right afterwards, which I wasn't so happy about. I guess it was all right. I think some people found some things that they might like in there, but not me personally. It was just not enough new stuff. Excuse me, I need my water. But yeah. I don't know how I feel about that Final Fantasy announcement. The origin story looks really cool. Whatever, I can't remember the name of it right now, but that one looks pretty cool. I'm not a huge fan of the way they did the... <laughs> They're old games again. I don't know why they just don't put it on a nice little collection, just as they are, and release that for us. Because I would be all over that. I don't want to buy individual Final Fantasies again. I've already done that more than enough. It's crazy. Alright, I think everything's good. Can switch over to the game in a second. Alright. Okay, let's do it. Game time, game time. I have not streamed this game yet, so I'm not sure if my camera is going to be covering anything. It probably will be. Let's see. I won't read through all of this for y'all, but... There's a lot of stuff I need to do now. We know there's a new bad guy and everything, so... Again, if you have not played through the game yet and you don't want to see what's happening, I'm going to talk about what happens in the ending, so feel free to leave now if you don't want any spoilers. But yeah, I'm not sure what I feel about the way they handled the end of this. Or not the end, but at least what brought us to this point in the game, so what am I blocking there? I'm blocking my party status, which is okay, I guess. I'd rather block that than the map. I think that's fine. 
All right, so what do I want to do? I have a lot of stuff I can do. This is kind of why I want to stream the game, because if I'm talking to you all and everything, it might be a more of a motivation for me to play this some more. I just want to make some more progress. But there is so much to do. Like, I cannot believe how big this game is. It's crazy. Um, do I really care about this? I think... Okay, frames look good. I guess I'll get this. I never know what to get at this point because everyone has everything they need already, essentially. Um, I almost never use Harpistry, but let's see. Dual wielding. Protect a single party member from ailments. That might be good. I want to see what this is too. I'm not sure. Yeah, let's... I want to see what that is. Let's open this up. Divine Intervention. Okay. Ah, Kalisti, hello! Welcome. How are you doing today? What can we do for Hendrik? I feel like I've gotten everything I want for him already. There's a shields thing here. I wonder what that is. You're good? I'm doing good too. I felt like streaming. I wasn't going to today, but I felt like streaming something after that showing today. Uh, I guess I'm blocking some things on there, but that's okay. Um, what do I want to get for him? Let's let's go this way. I'm curious what this is. Even though I don't use a great sword for him at all. This is a shield skill, so let's see what this is. Send enemy attacks sailing straight back at them. Oh. It was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Microsoft and Bethesda did really well. So that was a great way to start the day. But Square Enix was very underwhelming. So. Um, I think I want that. What is this? I want to know what that is. Let's open it up. Don't get me wrong, I think the Guardians game looks fantastic. I'm probably going to play that one. The... Oh, Carfrizzle. The... The Final Fantasy Origin looks pretty cool, but... The protagonist is very white bread, so I'm hoping that they change that eventually. I don't know if I like Souls-like games, so we'll see. I'm not sure. But... Yeah, kind of a weak showing from Square today, at least for my taste. I think some other people saw things they like, which is good. I'm happy about that, but not me. <laughs> and of course, Life is Strange looks great, but we already knew about Life is Strange, so nothing new there. Yeah, but Microsoft, Microsoft Bethesda was good. They did a great job, so. Okay. I have to remember what I was doing here. Really enjoying the Game Pass. Game Pass is such a good value. It's crazy. I need to get myself an Xbox. Or actually, I don't even need an Xbox. I could use Game Pass on my PC, but... I will probably discontinue my Sony subscription, my PS Plus subscription this year, so I can start Game Pass. Sorry, Sony. You're just not doing it for me. Okay. Um, what is my next objective? Search the lands of Urdria for the three seedlings. Okay, but there are some things that I wanted to do. Um, before I do that. Because, was it Galopolis? No, not Galopolis. Octagonia had something going on. 
We should honestly just revisit all of these places because it looks like there's new things happening in all of these different places. On oh, Puerto Vallarta too has something. Hmm. Use it for your Xbox and your PC. Yeah, I should I should look into it because I don't even use anything on my PS Plus subscription. It's just going to waste. It's wasted money. Yeah, let's go back to let's go back to Hado. Hoto. Let's see what we have here. Because there was something happening. I think I have very high expectations of Square because they make such good RPGs usually, so. When they don't show the things that I want, it's like, ugh, why not? <laughs> it makes me upset. But it's okay. I mean, I don't hate them for it. It's just it wasn't a showing that I that I was excited about this year, so. But it's okay. Um, there's a quest in here. Wait, wasn't this the place where they were? Oh no, it's not here. But there's a quest here anyways, let's see what it is. Hato, Hato, Hoto truly is a fascinating place. Being surrounded by high mountains as it is, it was largely left alone for centuries and has consequently developed its own unique culture. Good RPGs and this is the problem of setting the bar high. Yeah, they set the bar really high for themselves, so. I mean, this game in particular is just excellent. There's so much content though. I'm like 90 hours in now, I think, and it's still going. It's still holding my interest, but it's starting to burn me out a little because it's so long, but that's not the only thing fascinating about this place. Have you ever heard of the tale of the treasure buried here by a shrine maiden many years ago? They say it may even include the legendary bloodstone. Since the time of my great grandfather, the men of my family have set out in search of that most priceless of gems. I am Iago, the latest in that noble line of treasure hunters. Yeah, this is this is only the second dragon quest I've played. No, well. I've played other Dragon Quests. I've played Dragon Quest 8 and 9. They both didn't hold my attention. This one held my attention all the way through and it's still holding my attention, so... It's really good. It's a really meaty RPG. And now, after all these years, I believe I can finally finish what my great-grandfather began. The tale I heard has convinced me that the jewel is here in Hato. But I cannot take the final steps of my journey alone. I shall need someone to assist me with the final chapter of my epic quest. Will you join me? Will you help me find the hidden treasure? Sure. You're clearly a man with a taste for adventure and excitement, and what could be more exciting than buried treasure? First thing we will need to do is locate the journal of the shrine maiden said to have buried the treasure. I have been led to believe that it still remains somewhere here in Hato. Hato. Hereby I trust you with the task of finding it, using it to track down the treasure. Bring me the bloodstone, the rest you can keep. That sounds very sinister. The legendary treasure of legend. Is that the only the only hint I have for that? Let's see. Legendary treasure of legend. <laughs> Clue to the treasure's whereabouts can be found in the diary of a shrine maiden. Uh, maybe the maybe the uh, maid has it. Oh, there's pink dots here too. Oh my gosh, there's so much to do. What do you guys have to say? Traveled far, seeking my life's true meaning, my quest, my calling. Finally, I know the blade I was born to forge, the fabled sword of kings. Earthbound reference? Weapon of legend, fit for the hands of royals, blade beyond compare. But I need one thing, a metal or a calcum, rather than hen's teeth. Rarer than hen's teeth. I have that. No price is too high, though it leaves me destitute, I will gladly pay. I have it. Do you want it? I think I have that. Don't I? Sort by name. Oh no, I don't have it. I thought I had that. Although I know where I can find it, I think. Well, let's go up here first. There's so much to do. I don't think I'm going to finish a whole lot today, but just... This will help motivate me to keep going, streaming with y'all. Because there's so much. There's so much to do. It is overwhelming. I just can't believe it, that the game just keeps going and going. 
just keeps going. They put so much content into this. I wonder if this is it. Oh yeah, this is it. This is an ancient diary that seems to have been written by a high priestess of old. Fox takes it from the shelf and has a closer look. Otto's fortune grew great piles of shining treasure tall as Mount Fuji. Our stores overflowed, the glimmer lit the night sky, the surplus was moved. Great treasures, bloodstone, looked down upon the peak's fire, reached by the back path. The back path. You may not enter. Here, Mother mourns her son, a sad, sacred place. The back path. Oh, let's go check out the volcano. Wait, what did it say again? It just totally left my brain. <laughs> In two seconds. Okay. Look down upon the peak's fire reached by the back path. Okay, so we have to go to the... For the forges, I'm assuming. There's all these little side quests. I wish it was going into my journal or something. Some of these don't. Sometimes, though, this kind of stuff is fun because there's no pressure. You're done with the main story already, so you can kind of just... Take your time and do whatever. Why do you look like you're thinking about something, dude? The skies grow darker. Fearsome monsters are abroad. Mistress Miko gone. Is this how it ends? My courage begins to fade like embers dying. I love how they all talk in haiku. You like it when a game gets to that point? Yeah, me too. I think that's why I liked Final Fantasy VI's World of Ruin, because you could essentially just do whatever. Even though the game wasn't over, it just opens up, so you have a lot of options. Well, let's go check out Mount Huji. Oh my gosh, y'all, I love, I love these hula hoop chubby dudes. They're so cute, oh my gosh. The, the monster designs are so adorable in this game. Okay, this is Mount Fuji, right? It's funny that it's called Mount Fuji because in Japanese there is no hu sound, it's actually hu, fu, like Mount Fuji, but it kind of comes out as a hu if you say it properly. So, it's really just Mount Fuji. <laughs> Excuse me, but guys, I'm just, I want to see what's back here, please. Just passing through, don't mind me. I do like you can just avoid the random battles in this game when you don't want to fight them. It's gotta be here. Oh, it's locked. Wait. Oh, I don't have the key anymore. I wonder how I could convince that person to give it to me. Hmm. I didn't even think about that. Let's see. Maybe there's something else I can do here. It's a really minor detail, but I like that there's outfits in this game you can get if you find the right equipment. That's really neat. I still have to get the ones for Silvando. I only have two for him. He needs better outfits because he just does. Because he's Silvando. Are you going to give me a hint about how I can get the key? Because I don't have that. I'm guessing not. Nope. I could just, you know what, I'm just gonna look it up on my phone because I'm curious. All about those details, me too. 
most of the time, well, in older JRPGs, right, you almost never change your character's look. They just look the same until a scripted event happens or something and they change their look. But, you know, it's nice when you actually have the option. Sorry, y'all, hang on. I'm, re I'm looking at my little guide here for the quest because... I'm not worried about being spoiled at this point because there's just, it's all post game stuff, but. I don't want to be wandering around forever trying to figure this out. <laughs> That's just me. So, what do I need to do? Okay. Oh, I was in the wrong place. Enter Atsu and Atsuko's hideout to the east. Climb the ladder here to access the secret passage. Alright. I was in the wrong place. I should have just done that first. <laughs> I, I love these characters, by the way. These these random NPCs that all look the same, that have this bull hat on, and they're just really big. They're clearly appealing for a certain audience, I think. <laughs> All right, let's go all the way back there again. These guys, they're so cute. I love the design. I should try and draw one. Practice my drawing. These red toady gates are so pretty. I like that. This game just looks really nice. I'm hoping they keep the same kind of feeling in whatever Dragon Quest XII is going to look like. I know they said it's going to be more for adults, whatever that means, but... This visual style that's really colorful, it's really nice. I like it. Oh no, this way. That this way. I immediately- I initially thought I had to go to the crater, but I guess there was another place here where you can see into the crater. I don't remember that. Look at all the lava around here, that's so cool too. You could not stand this close to hot lava, by the way. I don't know if I ever told this story to y'all, but when I was really young, so we have an active volcano right on the big island of our state, and my mom and my grandma and my auntie, I don't think we were even allowed to do this strictly, but we walked over a lava field that was dry but there was still hot lava underneath it so there was steam and stuff coming up and you could stick sticks through the lava the hot lava and they would burn because it's so hot down below i i don't think we were supposed to be walking on that but <laughs> we were it was a lot of fun so you cannot be that close to lava it's very very hot i'm sure you all know that lava is really hot but i'm just giving you my own personal experience of how hot lava actually is it's very hot. It can ignite things just by being in the presence of something, so... <laughs> it's... It's nuts. So whenever I see characters, you know, that are walking around um, these games so close to lava, it's like, you can't do that. You will burn up before you can even get that close. But it's okay. These are just games, right? In reality, you could not get that close to lava. You would be burning. If you got that close. Like this, all this lava here? Yeah, no way. <laughs> no way we could be this close to it. So, where is it? Oh, this place? Oh, right here. Finds a chest of Hoto stuff. Excuse me. We found the hidden hoard of Hoto. Head back to Iago at the inn. Oh, like this. Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought it was going to be. Let's go back. I'm glad I looked it up. I would have been looking around forever. Oh, it's hot today. Speaking of hot.
I'm gonna go check on my mochi in a little bit. It looks so good. I'm so happy it turned out this time. How did you go? Did you manage to track down the hidden horde? Yeah, it wasn't that hard. You found it. Finally, the epic endeavor my great-grandfather began all those years ago is at an end. There are no words to express my gratitude. As you know, I am from a long and illustrious line of treasure hunters. I didn't know that. I can still remember my great-grandfather on his deathbed looking me in the eye and telling me to continue his lifelong search for the bloodstone. And now it is finally at an end. Could I have done it without you? Perhaps not, my friend. Perhaps not. Truly, there are no words. What there is, though, is lots of lovely treasure. I shall take the bloodstone, but the rest is all yours. Three uber, uber agates of evolution. You'll need to make mochi at some point. It's really easy, you know. I should send you the recipe that I use because it's so easy. If I can do it, you can do it. Because you make beautiful cakes and everything. So this mochi recipe would be so easy for you. And I'm sure you could make it even better. But it's really easy. Really, really easy. But this is chichi mochi. It's not traditional mochi, and it's not the kind of mochi that you pound, right? This is just baked in the oven goodness. And it comes out really soft. Okay, what do you have to say? Noah, yes, he left a short while ago, his bill unsettled. To Gondolia, he said, stubborn as a goat. What of the Dark Star? Oh, to Gondolia. Um, I guess that's all I need to do here, then. I don't want to go to Gondolia just yet. Flubby4, hello, welcome. Good day to you too. How are you doing today? Yeah, let's just, let's save first before I forget. I'm doing well, thank you. I am playing this to cleanse my palate from the Square Enix presentation today at E3, so. I wasn't gonna stream today, but don't mind the pounding, it's why you like making bread. Oh, yeah. Oh, you make bread too. Oh my gosh. Can you come and bake for me, please? But yeah, this mochi, this mochi is not hard. I'll, the recipe I'll send you, it's really easy. It's just mixing some dry ingredients with some wet ingredients and putting it in a pan and putting it in the oven. That's it. It's really hard to mess it up. <laughs> Okay, so we saved. Let us... Yeah, it's easy. You just mix... I have the recipe by heart already. You just mix the mochi, the rice flour, the mochiko, sugar, baking powder, coconut milk is actually the wet ingredients. Coconut milk, water, and a teaspoon of vanilla, and some food coloring just to make it nice. So you mix it all together, make a nice creamy batter, and you pour it into a greased pan, put it in the oven at 325 for an hour, and it's done. That's it. It's really easy. Oh, your dog's name is Mochi? Oh, that's a good name for a dog. I actually know a dog named Mochi. <laughs> it's it's a great name for a dog. It's so easy. Yeah, it's it's really easy. It's not hard at all. You would think Mochi would be something that's really difficult, but it's not. What is difficult is making, like, if you do your own Mochi at home, and you want to stuff it with stuff, that's hard, because... That means working with blazing hot, basically liquid rice and forming it around stuff and making shapes. So you need like gloves, first of all, that won't stick. And secondly, that will prevent you from burning your fingers. That is hard. That's hard to do. So that's hard mochi. <laughs> this one is easy. You don't have to touch it once you put it on it. Oh, Flubby, thank you for the follow. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Streamlabs, why are you saying stuff? It's supposed to be my my other bot saying stuff, but it's okay. Thank you for the follow. Um, where was I going? Then? Gondolia. But before Gondolia, let's go to. Um, I think it was Phenomenon. Phenomenon. Yeah. All these puns in this game. But yeah, that's, that apart making mochi is hard. If you want to make mochi that has stuff in it, it's hard. Because you have to be able to handle the hot rice. We tried to do it. Oh my gosh. It's 
I made the mistake of using my bare hands at first. You know, we let it cool for a bit, tried to do it, but it was still too hot. But once it gets to the point where it's cool enough to handle with your hands, it's too late. You can't shape it anymore. It sets. So, that's hard. But other than that, okay, yeah, this is where I want to be with all these dancing folks. What's going on here, people? This dancing will be the death. This, this, this reminds me of Hocus Pocus. Dance, dance, dance until you die. That's basically what's going on here. I don't know why, so let's go try and figure that out. Was there a quest in here? California, no, I am actually in Hawaii, Flubby. I am across the ocean and in the, on an island. Oh, it's this little boy. What does he want again? Snooze and bruise. Oh, that's right. I'll do that later. I don't want to do that right now. Are you thought I was in SoCal? No, I'm. I'm quite far from everyone. Although I guess I'm not that far from. California. Oh, David RPGs, hello, welcome. How are you doing today? What are you doing, Father? We cannot stand here and watch people dance. We must go and help them. I think so. Oh, hello, sir. You are a visitor here? It is strange. You seem very, very familiar. That's right. This boy doesn't know me anymore. But that is not important now. Something terrible has happened here in Phenom Phenom Phenomenon. A monster has come and cursed all the young people. Only young people, yes. He does not seem to be interested in children and old people. I think so. This is lucky for me. But it is terrible for the village. He is forcing people to dance and making them say very, very strange words. Please, sir, you must help us. You look strong and brave. You must head into the ruins and defeat the monster. Otherwise, the curse will never be lifted. I think so. Not bad at all? That's great. I'm doing well, too. I'm telling everybody that's coming in, and it's true, I'm playing this Square Enix game because... I was disappointed with Square Enix presentation today, so <laughs> I'm playing one of their good games. <laughs> I'm going to give you a little shout out, David, because David RPGs also streams and he streams RPGs, if you could not guess um, <laughs> by his name. Oh, were you were you watching something? You were last playing special events, it looks like. Were you watching the, the E3 conference too? Square Enix, I don't know, what are your thoughts on Square Enix's show today? I was very underwhelmed, personally, but it might be nice to hear someone who might have a positive opinion, I don't know, or not. What did you think? I have no idea what's going to happen when we go in here. The last time we were in here, we fought a monster in a painting, just like Final Fantasy VI, but... Are you dancing? Help us out, will you hustle? That flaming monster who put this dancing curse on us went into the mural. Go in after him and clobber the Drongo hustle. Intrigued about the FF1 and 6. I am too. I don't know exactly what a pixel remaster is, but... Some people were trying to explain it to me on Twitter, but I still don't really understand it. So I, I think I have to look into it more. Um, I really hope they don't use the sprites that they use for the mobile versions, but... I have a feeling they are. I should fight some monsters, sorry. I'm just avoiding them all. <laughs> Let's have some combat up in here. Well, that was easy. It'd be nice if they just used the original pixel versions, but... I guess it's pixel perfect versions of the sprites? I'm not sure what that means. I have to look that up, I guess. I don't know what that really means. Let's get Yay. These monsters aren't very hard at all. 
I know in this game you have the option to just let your characters auto battle, but I like to I like to micromanage my characters, so. That's actually something I enjoy about turn-based RPGs, so I just let I just make sure everyone follows my orders instead of doing their own thing. Okay. The monsters in here aren't too bad, so I'm hoping whatever boss is in here is not going to be too bad either. Are you chasing me, really? Oh, no you didn't. Don't steal my magic. Ooh, curses. You know, just for that, I'm gonna try to wipe you guys out really quick. Jerks. Do curses go away? No, they don't. Okay, let's. We have to remove them. Okay, these probably these these things can probably kill me instantly with their death magic. No, thank you. Everything's so big in here. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't like these guys, but... Yeah. Oh, really? I always love, I always love my magic casting characters. They're usually my favorite. Well, these guys aren't too tough. Oh, okay. Well, they are pretty tough. Take the back. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Omni slash time. Yay. Okay, my main character is almost out of magic. No, I don't think I want to fight you, dude. Let's just go past. But let's also heal. There we go. I am gonna admit, I'm intrigued about the origin story thing for that they showed today at Square Enix. I don't really care for Souls-like games, but I hope I'm going to the right place here. This is a long area. But yeah, I'm kind of intrigued. I hope they change the main character a little bit because he's very boring looking. I'm not interested in that at all, so... And he's very one-dimensional. I must destroy chaos. I must destroy chaos. We get it, we get it, dude. We got it. You must destroy chaos. Can you try to be a little more interesting, please? Um, that's a dead end. I guess I'll take one of these guys. <laughs> own this game but haven't played yet oh yeah yeah if you haven't played it so I'm I'm in the post game now so just letting you know so if you don't want spoilers yeah I am actually beyond the end I will say that I've spent over 90 hours in this game, and I'm still interested, so that's a good thing. 
So just be prepared to invest a lot of time here. Malicious magic marionettes. Love that. Uh, let's just whack him because I need some magic back. Um, let's bring in... Nice. Come on, stop stealing my magic. Uh, let's switch out to Veronica for a sec because these monsters are being annoying. That was really strong. It is funny. <laughs> I guess this might be a thing in all Dragon Quest games, but they're not very shy about using the palette swaps and things like that for enemies that are stronger. Because there are palette swapped enemies, and then there are enemies that have red eyes, and enemies that have green eyes, so. <laughs> which are basically palette swaps. Which is fine to me, but it's just, it's funny that they're not shy about that at all. Oh, that was only one of them? No thanks, I'm not gonna fight you all. This way. This place gives me labyrinth vibes, like from the movie Labyrinth. It's like all these stairs all over the place. Okay. I think this is still the right way. Can I run over this guy? <laughs> yes. Excuse me, coming through. Although I'm not getting any experience for doing that, but it's very satisfying. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Okay, I don't think I can run that big guy over. Um, geez, this is longer than I remember. That monster better be in here. If there's nobody at the end, I'm going to be very upset. This is a long path. Am I going? Oh no, no, okay, I see. Out of the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Just passing through here. I love riding on these little monsters. Okay, big guy. Coming through, coming through. Conveniently located save point. Oh, and it's a heal save point. I should have been fighting everything. That's okay. I never assume I'm going to get healed before the boss, so... You can't continue this way, oh. Sorry, dude. Thanks for the ride. Oh. Oh, it's these guys. Hey, 
days, you youngsters cut off dunce up a storm, eh? And these steps are yours, eh? Who is this? <laughs> There's someone else. Oh, just look at me go. Hustle, hustle. Wait, hey, hey. Oh, my goody. Someone. Oh, my goody. Excuse me. Stop. Shut him, you. I'll hear money or whinging. We're dancing for the dark one here, so look lively, or there'll be trouble. And a one, and a two, and a hoppa, hoppa, hustle, hey! This is not quite who I expected, but... What have we here? Hoping I wouldn't notice you slacking off back there, were you? Well, no such luck, you boogie, or you'll feel the back of my hand. Come here, you! <laughs> Malicious Grey Gordon. Okay, well, I've learned not to underestimate anything here, so... Let's buff ourselves up a bit. Um, let's actually switch in... Veronica. No, I can't actually, not this time. I had a feeling he'd use- oh, magic. Ouchies. <laughs> I love those guys. Okay, let's keep putting up those defenses, people. Um, yeah, let's try to get rid of these little dudes. Oh, I didn't take out that little guy? Jeez. Oh. <laughs> That's such a cute status effect. Good job. Around, oh, you're bringing more people in already? Crap. I guess I should just go for him. Oh, they pepped up. Can I? No, I don't think that'll work. Stop dancing. <laughs> well, that's actually hurting him pretty well. <laughs> no, go ahead, keep dancing. He's very cute, Hendrick. Jeez, he's really resistant to attacks. More people? Excuse me? Just keep blowing them up, Veronica. You got this. Jeez, there's a lot of people streaming today. That's awesome. There we go. This guy's voice, man. Okay, 
Oh no. Okay, good. Good. Okay, you guys are starting to get on my nerves. Oh, they all can charm me. Jesus. Don't do that. That is so strong. Jeez. Ooh, critical spell. Ouchies. This guy's annoying. Stop calling your friends. Ooh. Ouch. I don't have time to reapply my protection. I gotta keep attacking. Oh, that's good. Nice. Actually, you should put on the magic barrier. Magic barrier. Good timing. Someone's knocking on something upstairs. It's distracting me. Oh man. I hope you guys can't hear that. Hit your teammates. Oh. I wonder if I should use one of these. This is probably stronger. Yeah, gotcha. Ow. That actually was pretty tough. Don't come back. Oh, 57,000. Holy crap. I guess because I killed all those different monsters. Told you I was tough. Ooh, we're getting lots of skill points per level now. That's awesome. Kaleido cloth. Cool. Thank you, sir. Thank you so very much. Now you have defeated the monster. We can move around freely once more. After the monster brought us here, he made us wear these strange, strange clothes. Then he forced us to continue dancing on and on. Oh, but we are so grateful that you arrived when you did. If we danced just a little longer, we would have collapsed, I think so. Right, you don't even know those clothes anymore. That's sad. Okay, wait, is, am I going to get something for that now? Some kind of reward, please. For all of that hassle. It's truth, you sure did a bon bonzer job of giving that monster in the mural a whacking. Cheers, mate. Guess you saved us all, eh? I reckon everyone in Phenomenon will be itching to tell you how grateful they are. Why don't you stick around for a bit of chinwag? I love the way they talk. Chinwag. I'd like a reward, please. 
The people who came out of the mural told me that you defeated that horrible monster and saved us all. I certainly is a blessed relief not to be dancing anymore. Thank you so much. Alright. Is there anyone that is going to reward me for this? I would like something, please. <laughs> You're still dancing. Do not worry, please. I'm not cursed. I just like this dance very, very much. Alright, Queen. You go. You go have your fun over there. Oh, wait. Let me go save. Although, I guess 57,000 experience wasn't that shabby of a reward. Truthfully. Okay, I solved this area's issue. Oh, where? <laughs> Some of them were still dancing. The mayor said I had a natural talent for dancing, so I've decided to practice very, very hard and imp impress the tourists who visit Phenomenon. Apparently, people from the city like dancing very, very much. I do not understand it, but still. Hey. Hello, sir. I was waiting for you. You were the one who defeated the monster, yes? Of course. I always believed you could do it. Thank you very, very much. I would like to give you this. It is from everyone in the village. Ten mini medals! Thank you. Our experience with the Dancing Curse has given us a very, very exciting new idea for how to attract tourists to the village. My father's friend Moni is the Moni is the one who had the idea. Talk to him if you want to know more. <laughs> Goodness. What's well, nice that these guys exist still in some form in this timeline. Drumming up the tourist trade, it is a good joke, I think so. <laughs> okay, wait, where's the. Where's the guy? Wasn't he around here somewhere? Hello. Although there's like no dot on the map to show me where anybody is, so... None of these people either. Where are you, dude? Endless dancing hell is over. Thank you so much for taking care of that monster. You're welcome. That's my job. Apparently. Oh yeah, this is the guy I gave the rainbow salt to. Well, I don't know where the dude is, so let's just go. I'll find him later. Okay, that's one problem solved. I got 10 medals for that, though. I should go to, uh, trade them in. Oh, I got something done, yay. Thank goodness. There's so much to do now. It's it's. There's so much to do now. It can be a little overwhelming.
Is there anything here I can do? I wonder. Hey, there's a... These guys are so cute too, I love them. These little chubby dudes with the, the pots. <laughs> Jarmima, I grew up in the Eerie Irie, but if I'd spent any more time there, I would have gone potty. <laughs> Luckily, my mommy sent me here. I know my appearance might be a little jarring at first, but don't worry, I'm very friendly, really. <laughs> well, you're helping water th the flowers, that's nice, I guess. That's right, they're all ladies here. Um, okay, that's all done. Oh, what's that? A sleeping hibiscus. I probably will check out what's going to be shown at the PC game show, but I doubt it's going to be anything I'm interested in that much. I will rely on my Twitter feed for that. Hey, dude. Yes, I have 18 medals. I don't know how that even happened. Spiked armor. Oh, that looks really cool. Oh, my really gay. Hello, welcome. How are you doing? My good friend Jonathan is here, folks. I'm gonna give him a quick shout out. You're less playing. Oh, you're playing. It takes two. Oh, that's awesome. I missed that. You're playing with Matt. How are you doing today? A miracle sword? Oh. Cool. Oh, I'm getting so many things. And a dagger. Doing very well. I'm doing well today too. I am playing Dragon Quest as a palette cleanser after that Square Enix presentation today. <laughs> oh, you played last night. Awesome. How did you like it? I'm so close already now. Jeez. So I got spiked armor and a sword. A miracle sword? Is that good? Wondrous weapon that heals the wielder's HP with every strike. Oh, it's not very strong though. So well done, a great co-op game. Yes, yes. It is it does have a sad premise, but it's it's great. Very well done. Is this spike armor any good? Spiked armor. Barb plate that can bounce damage back once it came. Oh, that's really weak though. Eh. I think all the stuff I have is better than anything I can get now. Almost everything. There's a quest there. Oh, that's the quest I didn't finish. I love co-op games. I miss playing co-op games with my husband. He has a... We have to get him some new glasses. So... The current glasses that he has kind of makes him dizzy and stuff when we, when we watch TV, so... We can't really play video games together right now, which is really sad. But at some point he will get new glasses, so... Let's save. Once he gets new glasses, we can play games again. <laughs> he can't see very well right now. What was that? What did I just see? Oh, I saw the bushes outside. I thought I saw an item. Okay, well, the next place I heard something going on is Gondolia. So let's go there, I guess. So much to do. Have you watched any of the shows today, Marbury the Gay? Any of the uh, E3, E3 shows? Oh, I finished this place, that's right. But... I'm not sure why the city has to have a, like, a loading screen in between, but it's really weird. It seems very intentional, though. Um, 
So Noah is here, right? According to that other... I forget who the heck Noah was. I don't know what he looks like. Let's just have a stroll around town. I'm gonna have to check on my mochi soon. It's probably cool by now. Hello, are any of you Noah? I don't remember. Yes, we saved you yes yet again, I know. <laughs> oh, this person is still here. So many monsters come, we have no choice but to escape. And then you're right back to your same spot behind the tower. Okay. Maybe you should move on to another place, dude. Um, I don't know if there's anything here I need to do, honestly. I mean, I did something here already, so maybe they're done. And I don't really see- oh, no, here he is! He really gave them monsters a, a pay- oh, is this- okay. If you ever need anything, do a return, anything at all, just give it a show. Oh, right, this is the person who has all the information. I guess maybe I can come back to him later if I need him, but... Well, how about we just follow the uh, pink dot at this point? What is that? What is that? Oh, Angela. Okay, let's go back here. I kind of wish this, um, whoa, it's so bright. <laughs> Can it be? Tell me, Wander, are you Fox, Crown Prince of Dundrasil? I am. When Urdran's lantern fell from the sky, the Grand Master told us of your arrival. It was nigh. Ever since the day of your birth, Grandmaster Pang has awaited your coming. Please do not keep her waiting any longer. You will find the Grandmaster in the field of discipline to the rear of the high hall. It is the building at the very top of the stairs. Please proceed inside. Oh, oh, there's a, there's a, there's a seat thing here. Well, there's a couple things I can do here then, but let's check this out first. Oh, fade to white. Right. Yeah, we know this already, right? They forged something in the volcano. Sort of light. Eh, <laughs> the wind fish. saw that too, right? Yes. That man. The mark on his hand. Oh. You don't think... Aye, I, I do. And I have a feeling you have the same right. instinct, laddie. This eh? didn't happen in this timeline yet. I'm so confused sometimes. Of legend. Well, we've seen that they forged the Sword of Light together. But that doesn't tell us what happened with Erwin's lantern. We need another seedling, laddie. That's right. That was such a cool moment, too. And it's just erased from history. That's so strange. Okay, well. We got that. Well, let's go inside here. Hey, cat. 
Meow. The art of sorcery con oh, oh my gosh, consisteth in the manipulation of ye magical energies that cons Horseth through a wizard's veins. This being so, ye magical might of any given spellcaster is necessarily limited to by ye extent of said power. But long years of study have revealed unto me a secret by which ye power that floweth through Idria's very soul might be channeled, thereby rendering a magic's power greatly more potent. That sounds interesting to me. Yeah, it is an art only for ye wisest and greatest of wizards. This being so, I have hidden its secrets in three tomes, and hidden these tomes in their turn among the threefold full floors of East Fulheim Royal Library. I remember those. If I should feel in laying the dark one low, thou who follows in my footsteps, I prithee, seek out ye tomes and pronounce these words before them. Oh. Slumbering place of strength untold, break thy bonds, unlock, unfold. Didn't notice you there. I'm studying the ancient teachings of Angrila. This book was written by Morkent, the great sorcerer who joined the Luminary of Legend in his battle with the Dark One. I discovered it in the temple storerooms only recently. Oh. If Lord Robert were to follow Morkin's instructions and learn to channel Erdria's energies, it would surely benefit you greatly. I agree. You have been to the Royal Library before, have you not? Will you return there and seek out his secrets? A boost to Rab's magical powers. Yes. Then you must journey to Sniffleheim and head eastward into the Snarefelt where the Royal Library stands. Morkin hid three books there, it seems. One on each floor of that great repository of wisdom. Yeah. The mantra that you must repeat before each one to break its seal. Good luck. Cool. Grab is have, does have really cool magic, so... Okay, well, at least that quest is documented, thankfully. Um, I guess we go upstairs now? It is really confusing, so... Yeah, again, spoilers if you have not played this yet, but... Everything that happens in the second half of this game has basically been nullified by this post-game. Because we, like, messed up with time... We messed with time, so... It's kind of strange. I don't know if I like how they handled it, but... Oh. Nighttime? It's a little weird to me. Oh, there's another quest. Hello. I have been hard at work honing my physique so that it might serve as a shield to protect all who seek shelter here from danger. My, bra my brawny body is stronger than a slab of stainless steel. A liquid metal slime has nothing on me. My mighty muscles are so strong that no normal weapon could even mark them. Okay. Do you not believe me, traveler? Do you think that you can build a blade sharp enough to cut through my steely physique? Ten seeds of skill? Oh. I admire your confidence, all right then, show me what you can do. But you should know that my victory is already assured. Why, you ask, because I know for a fact that the only weapon capable of harming my iron hard body is a legate's blade with a power of plus three. Such a sword can only be crafted, okay, blah blah blah. Not only that, but the recipe is a closely guarded secret of angry law. It is only awarded to those bold enough to test themselves against the wheel of Harma, and strong enough to conquer its every cycle. If you should succeed in crafting a legate's blade, Wow. Okay, that seems tough. I enjoyed this one. I've been thinking of playing Builders again. Did you play this one all the way through? Even the post game, Jonathan? It's really cool. I like this game a lot. It's just, it's it's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot of game. Oh, yeah, I want to play Builders again. I So Dragon Quest Builders 2, I, it hooked me for so long. I love Dragon Quest Builders 2. Oh, wait, this is not where she is. And I love Minecrafty games, so Dragon Quest Builders 2 was perfect. Now I want to play that again too. Now that I'm more steeped in Dragon Quest, like I when I first played Dragon Quest Builders 2, I did not know much about Dragon Quest. It was one of my first Dragon Quest games I really sunk my teeth into, so did not finish all the post game one day. Builders 2 got so much of my time. Yeah, Builders 2 is great. Wait, she's not here? Where where are you?
Grandmaster's Hall, home of Grandmaster Pang, the spiritual leader. If you had come here when you were a child and trained with us as you were supposed to, this is where you would have awoken each morning. Oh, where, well, where is she? Builders 2 was a lot of fun. I love, like, that kind of... Gr it was a little grindy, but I like the grindiness, and I like the... Um, I like the building and the putting your town together and completing objectives and stuff. It's really cool. I went the wrong way. Where is she? Hello. Is she in here? I know I should put it off because I just started Porsche the other day. Oh, what do you think of Porsche? So I played, I played my time at Porsche when it kind of first came out, around the time it first came out. It was very, it still was a little buggy still, so I wanted to give it some time, but I wasn't sure how it is now. I'm sure they've updated it a lot since, so. But, yeah, I haven't. Oh, there she is. Hi, you're so pretty with your giant blue necklace. of Dundrasil to angry love. I know who you are. I am Pan, Grand Master of the Temple. Really enjoyed it so far as much as the life sim builder. Laid back days, I haven't had a lot of time. Yeah, I I remember it feeling a little limited too sometimes as far as the amount of time you have every day, but I I should revisit it. I have it on my Switch, so not that I have time. Because I'm playing this game. <laughs> we humbly swear to honor the ancient agreement, to accept you as a disciple, and cultivate your physical and spiritual strength as best we can. Are you gonna beat my ass? What's the matter? <laughs> Too many long words? Fine. Allow me to explain it all in terms you'll understand. For as long as anyone can remember, the sons of the Drusillian royal family have been sent here to be educated for six years of their youth. As the crown prince of Dundrasil, you too were supposed to have come here as a boy and trained under me. When your homeland was destroyed by monsters, the world thought you dead. But still, we held out hope. She's so pretty in her big For her kimono. For many years, we have awaited your coming. Ah. It's been a long time, Master Pine. Forgive me for not visiting you sooner. <laughs> My dear Robert, it has been rather a long time, hasn't it? I must admit, I had thought we would only meet again in the next world. Hmm. Speaking of which, you look like you've seen a ghost boy. <laughs> the second ghost I've seen. Though I must admit, I have a similar feeling. It's as if we've met before somewhere. Strange. You know, I like I like how this game handles the uh, the different timelines because it's like if the, so the timeline shifted, I but then. So when you remember someone, it's like, I thought I met you somewhere before. It's because the timeline shifted. It'd be interesting to think whenever you got that feeling in real life, like deja vu, it's like, did we just hit a timeline? A divergent timeline. It is the body of unfathomable wickedness. You mean to destroy it, don't you? Well, it just so happens that there's a special training regime here at the temple. That should prepare you to do just hmm. that. We call it oh, there it is. the Wheel of Harma. I will summon forth the constant cycle of fiendish foes that will push your powers to the very limit. Many have attempted to conquer the wheel, but though the trial has existed for a millennium hmm. or more, do so I want to do that now? Have succeeded. If you're feeling brave, speak with the High Lama. 
Grandmaster. I have spent years practicing everything you taught me. Focus, discipline, abstinence. Let me show you what I can do. Hmm. Very <laughs> sprightly. I'd like to see how you come along, Rat. You certainly seem a lot more focused than when we last met. If she's supposed to be as old as him. Oh, I'm yeah. focused, all right. She looks on, super you young. Whippersnappers. What are we waiting for? I have a thing or two to show you. Hey oh. <laughs> I take back everything I said. Come here, Robert. We have a record to break. <laughs> With her freaking like slappy sticks, her spanking sticks. Um, oh, that does him lying on him. Okay, wait. Let me let me save. I wonder if I get to bring people with me, if it's just going to be me and Rab. That would be kind of rough. Okay, let's, uh, let's switch my lineup for... Wait, let's do character builder. Do I have anything I can get? Can get Kerfizzle. I think that's about it. Who do I want on my team there? Um, this actually might be good like this. I think. And I can always switch people out. I should go heal. And actually after I heal I'm going to take a quick break because I want to check on my mochi. It's probably cool by now so I can move it. I can move it to another pan. It looks so good, I'm so happy. I was concerned it wasn't gonna turn out today. Only because, and I, I mentioned this at the beginning of the stream, but I changed Mochiko brands and that was a bad idea, apparently, so. Now I know to use only one certain brand of Mochiko. Or it won't come out as good as it usually does. Which you wouldn't think would make a difference, because, you know, rice flour is rice flour, but apparently not. Because this batch came out excellent. Okay, now well I'm going to go back upstairs, and I'm going to save right before this trial thing, and then we will try it out. I don't know what to expect, but... Hopefully I can do it. There's still so much to do, like I'm... I keep saying this, but I'm so surprised at how much content this game has packed into it. It's insane. So much content. It's a lot, a lot of stuff to do. Alright. Let's save here, and then I'm gonna take a short, maybe like five minutes? Five minutes at the most? I wanna get my mochi moved to another pan. And, um, stretch a little bit, because I've been sitting down for two hours now. Almost, no, an hour and a half, almost two hours, I guess. This is actually a good point to cut it, because it's right in the middle of my stream, so I'll be back in five minutes. See you soon. Okay, I am back. My god, my mochi looks perfect. I'm so happy. Okay, let me scoot in a little bit. I just flipped it out of the pan onto a, a tray with a potato starch, so my hands are all starchy, but so it doesn't stick. But it looks so good. I'm very happy with how it turned out today. My husband will be very happy too. A nice surprise when he wakes up. He's still sleeping. It's 12.45 in the afternoon and he's still sleeping, so... But yes, it looks great. 
Nice and pink. Okay, well, let's see what this is all about. Pit yourself against the Wheel of Harma and by doing battle with ever more powerful foes, learn to draw out every last ounce of your strength in battle. There are two things you must keep in mind. Firstly, consider the strengths and weaknesses of both your foes and your companions when choosing who is to face the wheel. Do all that you can to defeat your opponents with as few actions as possible. Oh, I'll be counting the total number of actions taken by all members of your party. Interesting, okay. Should you best your foe efficiently enough, your efforts will be rewarded. Make sure to give it your all. I have important news. With the threat of the Dark Star now looming over the, our heads, Grandmaster Pang has permitted disciples access to newer and more challenging trials. Okay. Should you overcome the third trial, more challenges will be made available to you. Never stop pushing yourself. There is no limit but that of the imagination. Which of the harmers, Wheel of Harmers trials you want to undertake? Um, oh, there's just, oh, it's just rewards though. Victory. Oh, you get recipes too. Yikes. Well, let's try one at least. I don't want to spend this whole stream doing these, so. Um, first battle, single-handed serpent slaying. The horrors of Heliodor. Oh. Single-handed serpent slaying. I could use Fox. Four horrors of Heliodor. Maybe Hendrik and Rab? Let's try. Let's just see how it goes. A deadly dragon. Well, I have this really strong single hit move, so... Let's see. <laughs> nice. Final challenge of the current trial awaits you, okay. Oh, within eight moves? If I can do it in six more moves, I can get everything. Let's go! Oh, it's a bunch of little enemies. Shoot, that's not really... That's not really Hendrix's specialty. Defense up, huh? Hopefully this works well, let's see. Witness the power of a true disciple! That didn't kill anyone? Oh, dang. I don't think I'm gonna make the eight moves, but I should have brought Veronica. He doesn't have anything that hits multiple things, does he? I'll at least make the first three tiers, though. That should work. Witness the power of a true disciple! How are they so strong? Yay. We have carried the day. Emperor's new axe, yay. Kaiser axes. Ten. Okay, so I got at least two rewards. 
Staff of Divine Birth and Eight Saints Ashes. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. Is that staff good? I'm guessing it is. Can be used in battle to summon swirling scythes of wind. Oh, it can be used. Interesting. You know, I haven't really been paying attention to that. I guess, yeah, there's things you can use, but... Well, that's cool. At least I know what it's about now. Something else I can come and do later, too. But let's go see what else there is out there in the world. Um... Check out Sniffleheim, actually. You can go to the library. Let's go to the library. Then I can get some power for my old man. I think I talked about this on Twitter, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to wake up at... 5 a.m. on Tuesday to watch Nintendo's Direct. Oh, I hope it's worth getting up that early. Because it starts at 6 a.m. my time. So I want to give myself plenty of time to wake up before watching it. I really hope we get something about Zelda. <laughs> Please. Just something about Zelda. Something more than Skyward Sword HD, which is cool, but... They so went all out for Mario, and Zelda's just like, nope. Nothing for Zelda fans. It's not fair. I just want something, you know, anything. Anything at this point. This is the library, right? Okay. <laughs> oh, Alright. Now I have to remember where all those books were. I know there were a bunch of them, but... I remember reading them, and it was like, we can't use this yet, so... Is this it? Ye Wizard Canticle Book 1. This must be the Sealed Grimoire. Okay, cool. Hear me, O spirits of ye great realm of Erdria, realm of boundless skies, O bottomless seas, of endless plains, heed my call. It must be part of the incantation Markant used to make his magic more powerful. Fox carefully commits it to memory. Okay, there's one. So now I have to go upstairs, right? How do I go up? All oh, across there. Those are already activated, okay. Um, I guess I can't go up that way. Wait, how do I get in these? Excuse me. This isn't it, right? No, this can't be it. Yeah, no, that's not it. Skip, skip, skip. Wait, how do I... How do I rotate it now? Oh, do I have to talk to this slime again? Hmm. Or do I have to... Oh, I have to hit this again. Here we go. Now the switches are active. Got it.
Okay, so second... I got the first floor switch, now I need to hit the second floor switch and the third floor... Or the third floor... Second floor book and the third floor book. I can't remember exactly where it is, but I'm sure it's tucked in someplace. Tucked in a little hiding place. This one? Nope. Um, can't go that way. I see a book over there. I think these are all old enemies, actually. Interestingly enough. Oh, here it is. Part 2. Grant unto me thy power, that I might protect this beauteous world and thy children, its peoples, from ye foul machinations, machinations of that most vile and villainous of beasts, ye dark one. Okay, cool. Got the second one. Now, where is that switch? Not there. Oh. I couldn't squeeze through. Yeah, I think these are old enemies. Which means they won't last very long. Jeez. It's kind of overkill there. Oh yeah, these are old enemies. Alright. Nothing to fear here, then. Where's the staff? Not staff. The orb thing. There it is. I, I kind of remember this place a little bit. I have to go up there. Okay. Are there three parts or four parts? I'm sure the game will remind me, but... Oh, that's a new enemy. He has a green eye. Oh, I got all the recipes already. Okay. I'm busy right now. Hold on. Ah. What's well, only one? Oh, you're a first hand trick? Jeez. Wow, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> it's a huge fireball. Um, wait. Okay, I lost my train of thoughts. I'm on, the, I'm on the third floor now, so I need to look for another book. It's not this one, right? Yeah, no. Not that one. This one? There it is, book three. Lend me thy might, fleeting and ephemeral, sublime and blinding, rain down upon me thy glorious luminance. Oh, nice. I did it all. Okay, let's get out of here. That wasn't so bad. I keep, my camera keeps moving around. Actually, it's not my camera moving around, obviously. It's me moving around, but... Well, that wasn't hard at all. Oh, 
I have, yes. So this is the spell whose mastery can unleash untold magical powers. I'm not nearly enlightened enough to feel its effects myself, but for a seasoned sage such as Lord Robert, it's sure to work wonders. Lord Robert, if you would. Its magical might and magical mending increased by 50. Wow. You are a titan of the arcane arts. You have mastered the mysteries of Morkent's incantation after a single reading. The great sorcerer left those books behind in order to pass on his knowledge to future generations. No doubt he would be greatly pleased to see that you have taken up his torch. I too feel blessed to have been given the opportunity to study the secrets of such a legendary hero. I thank you, Luminary. Well, no problem. It's all for my benefit. Nice. Okay, cool. Getting things done, getting things done, slowly. Alright, so I think we're done here for now. Um, let's head to Sniffleheim City. I'm sure there's things I can do there too. How's everyone doing, by the way? I hope you're enjoying the stream. Thank you for being here. I have to remind you all how much you mean to me, so thank you for being here. Uh, there's another pink dot. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, that's what I expected, so let's go check it out. Oh. Nighttime? Perhaps I'm merely imagining it, but I have heard a plaintive voice drifting on the icy breezes that sweep through the city of late. It is not the cry of a monster, that much I am sure of. It sounds more like the voice of a young girl. It drips to me from somewhere north of the Viking's hideout. Oh. Viking's hideout, you say? North of the Viking's hideout. Ah, oh, really? You're not gonna let me in. Oh, we can just use this campsite right here, I guess. Yay. I love forging, although it's a little stressful. What did I get? Oh, this axe, that's right. I don't have anyone using axes, though. But let's rest until dawn so they let us into the castle. I don't know why I'm saving again, but... Well, let's go check out the castle first in case the ca the queen has anything for us. But if not, then we can go to uh, check out the Viking hideout, I guess. Or north of the Viking hideout. I'm not sure what that means. I have my water off to the side because I have a very bad habit of knocking things over. What do you got? Hey Fox, hello, hello. It has been too long. I have some good news for you. The magical beast that you were tricked into slaying has come back to life. But I'm afraid there is some bad news too. Ever since his return, Jormund has been attacking all the poor travelers passing through the Hexwood. He is a peaceable beast by nature. I fear that the poor creature may have been corrupted by some dark power. I seem to remember an ancient tome in the Royal Library. Oh, oh. I read that. Crap. I skipped through that. The great guardian of the Hexwood, I suspect it might tell us how to banish the darkness and restore Jormund to his senses. If his rampage continues, it is only a matter of time before someone is seriously injured. Please, old friend, go to the library and seek out this book. I did. 
But I didn't read it, I skipped through it. <laughs> right, let's see who else is what else is going on in here. There is so much to do. This is like, you know, when you get to that part of Chrono Trigger where you're almost at the end of the game and there's all these side quests you can do just to get stronger. How wonderful it is to see you again. I want to hear all about your adventures, but I fear there is a more pressing matter at hand. A terrible black dragon has recently emerged. There's all these things. From the frozen fjord in the Snarefeld. We believe it is it to be the fell beast who terrorized my kingdom in the Age of Heroes, the Auroral Serpent. At the moment, it is rampaging around the eastern snowfields, but if it were to turn its attention to the city, I doubt we would withstand such an assault for long. My brave soldiers have gone out to meet it many times, but on each occasion they have been driven back, lucky to escape with their lives. You are the only chance we have. Please, my friend, will you go to the snarefields and lay the serpent low? Yes. The monster dwells near the frozen fjord to the southeast of the snarefeld steppe. If we were to defeat it, I would make sure you were rewarded most handsomely. I wish you the best of luck. Okay, what about you? What do you have to say? You and your friends are planning to bring down the dark star that is looming over Galopolis, aren't you? How do I know that? I see that thirst for destruction in your eyes. Honestly, my love, you remind me of the old me. I may have lost the power I once had, but I still would very much like to help you get rid of it. Its ugliness offends my delicate sensibilities. So you must bring me a serpent soul or two. They're not so hard to come by. And when you bring them, I will use what remains of my strength to transform them into supremely powerful items, with which you can craft some absolutely exquisite equipment. Serpent souls can be prized from various dragony devils, even the Prestless Prestlaces who prowl the celestial sands. Find them, fight them, and tear their essences from their still twitching bodies. <laughs> okay. Then once you've had your fun, simply bring them back to me. I'll make it worth your while. So many things to do. I wish all of these pink quests are going on my quest log, but they're not. So I'm just having to remember. Okay. Let's go back to the library first. And read that book again about the monster, because I think it was on the first floor. There's so much to do. This game it just goes on and on and on and on and on. It's not a bad thing. I'm probably making it sound like a bad thing, but it's not. It really just goes on and on and on. There's so much to do. So much, so much to do. I just wish the one thing I would change is that they would put all of these different things in a quest log of some kind. I have a hard time keeping track of it, like, without a quest log. I could deal with the dragon while I'm here too, but... Mm. Royal Library of Warren Highlands, Stuff Population. Okay, Golem. Excuse me. Oh, dang it. Accept your fate! It's surprising that this game, the status, like, reduction spells are actually quite useful. Lowering defense and everything like that, or increasing defense. It makes battles much easier. Sometimes it's better than just casting an attack spell, you know? Alright, let's go back to the library again. And read that book, actually read it this time. I like this snowy area. It reminds me of like Skyrim. All right, let's see what's in here now.
Was it this book? No, that's that one. Oh, crap. These are just going to be a waste of my time. <laughs> my spellcasters oh, can beat you to death with their regular weapons that's saying something um, am I going to have to rotate everything again I swear it was on the bottom floor that I saw that book maybe not They scared me. What are you guys doing just standing there? Jeez. Maybe this is the one? Yeah, here it is. Ancient legends tell of a mighty and mysterious beast that lives deep within the heart of the Hexwood, a frozen forest on a snare-filled steppe. Many generations ago, the people of Sniffleheim worshipped this creature as their guardian spirit and would offer up their thanks for the bounteous blessings they believed it bestowed upon them. It's a lot of B-words. The beast's name, it is said, was Jormun, and after many painstaking years of research, we can at last hypothesize as to its origins. All signs seem to point to its being a creature born originally of purely evil energies. Let us call this form Malicious Jormun. Malicious Jormun is all but impossible to slay permanently by conventional means, be they physical or magical. It merely absorbs the power of its attacker and is soon restored to life. The only way to defeat it, and have it stay defeated, is to deal the finishing blow with a powerful lightning spell. Zap, Zapple, and Kazap being the most well-known examples. Oh. A great hero with the necessary assistance might even attempt to lay Mighty Jormun low with a devastating technique known as Kazapple. Powerful electrical surge might jolt the creature out of its black funk, causing it to be reborn as Holy Jormun, great guardian of the Hexwood. Oh, so I need Kazapple? Who the heck learns Kazapple? Is it Fox? Is it one of these down here in Luminary? Because I did not come this way at all. I bet it's one of these. Which is really unfortunate because... I mean, I could always reset his skills, I guess. Because no one else learns Zap. She doesn't. Rab doesn't. It's got to be the hero. Hmm... Yeah, I'm fairly certain it's one of these. I should probably look it up first, but let's not do that on the stream right now because that's going to take a while. Let's see. So I could also go find the, the source of the voice. The dragon one will take me a little while. Let's go find the source of the voice. I think we can do that. Although, I wonder if I can see it from the sky. Let's call our little wooden fish. I love flying around on this thing. I doubt it's one of these. Luminary's Landing. That's the clock tower. This is the world tree. First forest station. 
Hmm. It's probably not in the sky then. Because north past the Viking hideout. Oh, that could be this one. Let's just check it out. I'm not sure. Because this is this is north past the Viking hideout, so we'll see. If there's anything here. I don't think so. If not, we'll try to go there by boat. Ice golems here, a dragon. I like how my character is so precise that he can just hit it once and everything falls out. It's pretty great. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, there's a chest though I didn't open. What is this? Oh, recipe book. Emperor, Emperor's attire and Empress's robes. Nice. Okay, let's just go to... I guess let's just go to Sniffleheim then. And take the boat. Oh, I can go to the Viking hideout. Hello. Let's just go to the Viking hideout. I think the PC game show must have ended by now, right? I'm not sure. Sorry about that, y'all. Okay, let's just go straight to the Viking Hideout. I thought I had to sail there. Sorry, just checking out which of my friends are streaming right now. Okay, um... Maybe it is in here somewhere then, because north of the Viking hideout would be... ...outside of this area. Oh, did it snow form the tree? Oh, that's a nice little detail. Is there like a resource point out here? I can't remember. Yeah, there is. A Brighton Rock. I didn't see what I, I just agreed to. Oops. Before we go in, I I want you to promise me something. I wonder what's gonna happen with this now. On the other side of this door is someone very important to me. More precious than any treasure. I want you to swear you'll do everything you can to save her. Hmm. That's right. This didn't happen either. My gosh. So, yeah. Back in the second half of the game, the we learned the past, long. but... When I bumped into this guy calling himself the Seer, he had a prophecy for me. He told me to go after the orb. 
that if I did, I'd meet the luminary somewhere deep underground, and that if I helped him, I'd finally be forgiven. Meet my little sister. I met her in another timeline. <laughs> She was a very cool boss. Mia. So I've been thinking. Now you've got the Sword of Light. Your powers are maxed out, right? Maybe you can use them to break Maybe. the curse. Please. It might not work, but it's gotta be worth a try. She might have been turned to gold, but my sister's still in there. I know it. Hmm. <laughs> Swing it wildly at her. Is it that easy? Uh, I guess so. Sorry, Mia. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I forgive you. Did you hear that? Forgiveness. The last part of the prophecy's finally come. I like true. the way it unfolded in the second half of the game better. You've helped me. It was much cooler. So I'm sure gonna help you. I'm with you to the end, partner. Uh, okay. Back to my old self again, so thanks, I guess, for saving me, but more importantly, you broke my necklace. Now it can't turn stuff to gold anymore. And there I was, all set to become a billionaire. God, thanks to my stupid brother and his do-gooder friends, and back to square one again. You hear that, Eric? You owe me big time. As soon as you're done with your little adventure, you better take me on the treasure hunt to end all treasure hunts, otherwise you can forget about me ever forgiving you. Until then, I guess you guys can look after it for me. Just promise you'll bring it back, okay? Oh. Uh, what can I do with it? It's broken. I don't think there's any reason for me to go here. Yeah. I don't think there is anyway. Got that chest. I don't even remember what happened out here the first time. Yeah, nothing here. Oh, no, there's a box. Oh, I didn't see this. A mini middle, yay. You know, I don't know where the heck the other leaves are. It could be anywhere, honestly. I wonder if this place has a hint for me. Let's go check them out.
Oh, are you a other quest? I see seedling holy like one in temple down below on mountain, mountain of discipline, of training, angry law. That's the one I got. Cetacea can take you, but it's not the only way. There is another way, faster. Yeah, zoom. Oh, are these all hints? Down below, stories of seedling, seedling in Laguna de Gondolia, but cannot walk there. Great cliffs block passage. Cetacea must take you. His best way, only way. Okay, so there's one in Laguna, Ticandolia, that I have to get there on the windfish. Went down below long ago before, saw a strange tree, an ancient kingdom, ruined kingdom of Zard Zwar Zwardrust. Rocky place, place of many cliffs, must ride Cetacea, only way there. Okay, so there's two on Cetacea only. So Zwardrust and... Um, forgot already. <laughs> what was the other one? Oh, Laguna di Gondolia. Okay, I remember. I remembered, I remembered. Okay, so let's go to, let's go to those then. Oh. Stretch, stretch, stretch. I should put a stretch time redemption on my points, things. Mm. Okay. Um, so Laguna and Gondolia. Oh, they pointed them out for me. Okay, perfect. Now that I got the hints, I guess. That's not too bad then. But there's still so much side stuff I have to do. Oh my gosh. I wonder if there's a guide somewhere I can follow when I play later, just to like check off all the boxes. There must be. See what this has to say. <laughs> I love that we basically have the wind fish in this game, and it responds to a flute. Oh, are they charging up, powering up the sword? Or powering her up, perhaps? Wow! Did you see that? That was one well-dressed whale. Cetacea looked very tough all of a sudden, didn't she? Could dressing her up like that be the key to getting through to where Kalasmos is? I suspect it might. Hmm. Well, let's not jump to conclusions. First, we need to see what the next seedling has to show us. I love all of their costumes. Okay, so we got this one. Now we can just go get that last one. Not as complicated as I thought it was going to be. I'm really glad I figured out how to set my consoles to play on my second monitor here so I don't have to look across the room at my TV. It took me a while to figure out, but I did it. 
This makes it so much easier to stream. I feel like self-contained now on my streaming desk. here need to set my second monitor up oh it's been in a box <laughs> I set mine up as soon as I was able to get it so oh hey these things are so cute these little tackles I missed you completely I have to do those quests, but I do not like playing this game's 2D mode. It's very, it's very, uh, slow moving. I wonder if he, maybe he wasn't even there the first time, because I know I came here. Unless this is a new area, maybe. I love my second monitor. It's so nice to have. And when I stream games from the PC too, it makes it much easier. The streaming in general is easier with two streams or two screens, so it's nice. But yeah, I miss having two monitors for work. Right now, I just have my one laptop monitor. I could probably hook this monitor up to it, but I'm too lazy to move things around. You know, that's my own fault, I know, but. So I'm guessing with this, like, divine armor, she can get through. Oh. It's a big scary thing inside. I'm pretty sure I don't want to go fight that yet, because I want to get all the different things in the world done first, so that I'm prepared for that fight. I'm sure it'll be hard. That was Cetacea we saw, wasn't it? Flying toward the Dark Star. I suppose that means she really was the key to breaking through to the Dark One. But what exactly do we need to do to dress her up like the old heroes did? Why is Veronica not in her costume, but everyone else is? In another pickle, are we? <gasps> Where did you spring from? If you're looking to give <laughs> so mysterious. a little more oomph, you'll be needing the help of the sage, Serenica. But to do that, You'll need to find hmm. her, of course. Which will require another memory. Another one? But we've visited all the seedlings. Come a little closer, would you, Veronica, dear? My eyes aren't what they used to be. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Uh. Yes. You're not quite as you should be, are you? Wh why does that matter? Here, pop this on for me. What is this? Oh, is she grown up now? Is it really you? Well, I'll be. Oh. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Serena, join your sister over here, will you? As I'm sure you're well aware, your destiny is to guide the... No wonder they took her costume away. When the two of you get together, 
and pray with all your hearts, well, then miracles can happen. But this wasn't possible with Veronica in her reduced state. Who are you? Who are you really? Yeah, that'd be good to know. Now, are you ready to fulfill your destinies? I'll need you to pray like you've never prayed before. Can you do that for me? Hmm. That still reminds me of Link's floppy hat, but it's not green, obviously, but... Ooh, pretty. I wonder if she's gonna stay like that. Big. Oh, right. <laughs> what? What could this mean? Uh, I think it means they've turned into a tree. <laughs> Thanks. Come closer, Luminary. The tree has something to okay. show you. Let's just get right to it. I am curious about who the seer actually is, though. He looks like me, except different haircut. Is Morkent Morgan? So he, oh, he stabbed his friend in the back and took the power. Interesting. Of all the low down. Oh. Betrayed by the very man he trusted most. That's how the luminary of legend died? The poor thing. The tree is still glowing, I see. Oh, that sucks. I rather think it might have more to show you. Erdwin was about to finish off Kalasmos when Morkin struck him down, but why? What could make him do such a thing? Power? Greed? Morkin killed Erdwin so he could steal the Dark One's power, but they've been fighting side by side for so long. How could he just betray him like that? Can it be true? Can that really be how Erdwin died? There's no way for a legendary hero to go. But what happened to the others? Guess the tree has more to show us. Yeah, let's see. It's kind of cool to see all of this. Why is there question marks on top? To see all of these uh, 
bits of lore that we didn't get in the main game. No weapon save the Sword of Light may end the Dark One's life. Cannot be used. No luminary now. Hmm. Only he may wield. Thus, cannot kill, but can imprison. Serenica. Oh, is that what the star is? He's trapped in that thing. Friends, lend me thy powers that I might bind him and banish him forever. <laughs> That makes sense. If Morkin is Mortigan, that would also make sense why he would destroy that thing. It's all making more sense in my head now. What now, Serenica? What doth the future hold for thee? The Sword of Light belongeth with the World Tree. I mean to bear it thence. Thereafter, I shall venture forth upon a quest. I shall seek him out. I shall find him. Find who? Oh, my internet quality dropped for a bit. Sorry for the drop frames, y'all. That was weird. I guess everyone's jumping online in the building now. I will be reunited with thee. I swear it. This is all very interesting. <laughs> yeah, my internet's like jumping around. Stabilize, stabilize. Oh, she came here. Time sphere. I need only shatter it and. Excuse me? Oh, she Stop. probably couldn't because she's not the luminary. Would that I might have seen thy face, but once more before I passed. Oh my gosh, it's poor things. I guess their ends aren't as glorious as the stories made it out to be. That's sad. No. Oh my gosh. So she's that thing? That's so sad. So Erdwin's lantern was no star, nor was it the luminary's final resting place. Okay, well that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, she's back to baby farm again. I thought she was going to stay that way. You've done as you were meant to do, Gellers. You've given the luminary the guidance he needed. We saw it too. We saw what happened to Serenica. What she became. She's still there, you know. Up in that tower. 
and she still holds the key to defeating the hmm. Dark One. How come you know about all this stuff, anyhow? Didn't it all happen yeah, who centuries are you, ago? Seer. How indeed, my inquisitive young friend. Perhaps I had better show you. Huh? What? You? Oh. Yes, me. What? Huh? Erdwin's erstwhile companion. Excuse me? There was a voice, you see. A voice inside my head. As Erdwin raised his sword to smite the Dark One, it spoke to me. Strike him down, it said. Kill him, and I will grant you power beyond your wildest And you listened? Ah, oh, come on, dude. I tried to close my heart to those intoxicating words, but before I knew what was happening, my friend lay at my feet. The Dark One's power filled me, corrupted me, poisoned my life. Oh, he was Mordigan. I became Mordigan. But even then, a part of me held out against the darkness. In time, it took on its own form, and that is who stands before Okay, me. that's a little weird, but... Now Mordigan is defeated, and so I too must fade. But I have one last prophecy for you before I go. The Timekeeper awaits you, Luminary. In a place north of the World Tree, the power of the Watchers will take Interesting. you there. Now, go and give the Dark One our hiding. And bring this story to an end. All right. At last. Well, good to know now that the real bad guy is this dark one. Mortigan was just another puppet. There he goes. I guess we'd better get moving, huh? Sounds like we need to go see cool. the Watchers. Veronica and Serena learn the mighty magic burst pet power. Okay. Well, that was a lot of information. So what happened to the other guy? I wonder. Okay, I better go save. Um, let's go back to... Um, Haven's Above. Interesting. Very interesting. This game keeps delivering interesting bits of story. I like it. Welcome to Home of Watchers, Eternal Home. Watchers always here, always watch over Yggdrasil. Tower of Serenica, not know, but no Tower of Mural. Wall picture, middle of village, Elder there. Speak with Elder, sleeps now, but may awaken for Luminary, perhaps. Perhaps. I need a save point. I need to save all of that. Es ex exposition? I forgot the word for a second. probably gonna check out a little bit of what's gonna happen next but then I'll probably call it after that we're almost going on three hours already I can't believe it um, it's been a lot of fun I made a lot of progress in this thanks to y'all there's more quests up here I'll probably work on those off stream okay let's get back to the temple or no is it the palace maybe I'm in the right place I forget what he said already. <laughs> I promise I'm not this bad at listening in real life. Okay. 
he is here. Old scent. Elder? Scent of Morkant. Well? <laughs> That's so interesting. Suspected, but did not know. Morkant's sorcery was great. Greatest, perhaps. But his heart torn never satisfied always craving more hmm. more power too much now you go to meet with serenica gift for you oh is he gonna give me the thing i need to go inside yeah This is what we found in the past when this place crashed down to the earth. So interesting. They're doing a good job of tying it together, I have to say. So this will get us into Serenica's tower, will it? I've already been there. Thank you very much, Elder Eagle Tap. Send regards to Serenica. Eagle Taps. <laughs> Good night, dude. Always sleeping. Okay, well, let's head over to... If I remember correctly, it is just to the south of Octagonia. Is there a closer one I can teleport to? Wait, that is where I'm supposed to go now, right? Go to the Lost Land, meet with Serenica in the Tower of Lost Time. Yes, it is. Oh, no, no. That's not it. That's where it crashed back in the day. I have to go to the sky. This is very interesting. <laughs> Gosh. This game is full of just lore and cool storylines. So many cool storylines. That's one thing I liked about this game, that there's so many little storylines. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's go there. This good old tower. I'm pretty sure there's not going to be much in here. We're probably just going to get more lore. Maybe a power or two. She might teach us how to give the whale some armor. Poor thing, I feel so bad for her and for the hero. They all got screwed over, and I guess so did Morkin too, but... Dang. Oh, now I can get back in here again. And I know exactly where to go since I've been here in another time. Another timeline. <laughs> so many people are playing First Class Trouble. I almost want to get my friends together and play it too together. I think that would be really fun. Especially since we'd be new to the game, it would be hilarious. Come on, laddie. We have a date with destiny. Okay, I'm pretty sure nothing big crazy is gonna happen in here. I'm pretty sure. We'll see. I can go long if I need to since I started my stream so early today. But I am starting to get sore from sitting on here in the chair for a long time. It's, it's old bones can only handle so much, you know.
Okay, blue gear. So I guess Serenica wanted to come here too and do the same thing. To try and get back Erdwin, but she wasn't the luminary, so she couldn't do it. That's so sad. I know who you are now, mysterious person. Hello again. To power the flute up too. The flute I remember was different, mightier. It can play but one melody. Hmm. But it is I guess she does remember. A sacred one. A song of awakening. A song handed down through the years. <gasps> I think we know that song. Veronica? Mm-hmm. Oh. Rejoice! Rejoice! The time is come! Arise! Awaken, Holy One! We offer unto you the skies! Fly free <laughs> once more! Arise! Arise! That's interesting. So her spirit was here all this time then, unless they turned her into something else. Oh, so pretty. Look how sparkly it is. <laughs> I guess that's gonna power up our little whale friend, our big whale friend. Yeah. So cool. I 
Actually, I'm glad I was able to stream this because... Oh, there's the big horn that we need to break through. Because this is basically showing everything that needs to happen before we can go fight the Dark One, the real Dark One. But there's a lot I'm going to do to power up further before that, but... Oh, our Windfish has leveled up. She's evolved. <laughs> oh, Satasha, darling, you're looking just fabulous. A vision. <laughs> Literally. Long have I waited. Since the time of Erdwin. Since the last great Who's talking right now? with Kalasmos. The whale? Oh, she, she, oh, she is talking. Us. I think she's trying to tell us something. But know this. The Dark One is powerful beyond imagining. A trial awaits you. Beneath once mighty that answers my question. There is where Justin is. A means to test thy metal ere the final fight begins. Go to him. Go to Drustan. And when the time What has he been comes, doing there? When you would pierce the wall that guards him, I stand ready to serve thee. Ah, a wee practice scrap or two before <laughs> the main event sounds like just what we need. I reckon we could do worse than pay Svartsrust a visit. He's right. This is one battle we can't be too prepared for. Let's go get fighting fit before we take well, There's a lot of stuff I can do too. <laughs> I'll definitely have to look at a post game guide because there's so much. So much that my quest log doesn't track either, so. Seraneca. We're going to need to do some serious training if we want to stand a chance against Kalasmos. So I say we go to Zoradros and see what this trial Cetacea mentioned is all about. Quickest way to get there is to zoom to the Warrior's Rest. Master of the Skies. Nice. She's so sparkly. Oh, that trophy. Okay, um, let's go zoom to somewhere, that's for sure. Bye. Oh, that was a weird drop in frame rate. Okay, let's go save now. Ninety-five hours. I'm at ninety-five hours, y'all. <laughs> My gosh. Okay, well, I think I think that's where I'm gonna call it for today. So let me let me swap back to uh, just chatting real quick. That was a lot. Okay, I can probably yeah. Did I save? Close that out. Nice. Oh, that was a lot of game today, guys. Very cool lore reveals, though. Jeez. Lots of stuff I didn't expect. This game just keeps delivering. I'm... It's very cool. 
There's a lot to do though. My lips are dry. Uh -huh. But yeah, there's a lot to do, but it's just, it's been fun. Oh, excuse me. Let's hit the mic. Uh, well, thank you all for hanging out with me today. The, there was a lot of game. So I apologize. There was lots of game and there's still so much more game. I cannot believe how much stuff there is to do in Dragon Quest. Okay, I'm going to switch my monitor back to being my second monitor so I can move some stuff around. Oh, hi, Lias. You came in just in time for the end. <laughs> how are you doing? Oh, thank you for hanging out, Callisti. I'm going to look for someone we can raid for sure. I'm trying to be better about raiding, you know? Who's on now? <laughs> it's alright, Elias. I started early today. I started like a couple hours not earlier than I normally do, so... It's not your fault at all. Uh, but we can hang out and chill for a little while, you know? I'm going to chat with you folks for a bit until... I figure out who I want to read. There's a lot of people playing games right now. Lots of people playing stuff. Jeez. Well, you know, I think a lot of people are in the gaming mood now. We're in E3 season two, so. I'm excited for the other conferences. I gotta go catch up on what happened at the PC show today if anything happened interesting, but I'm sure I'll see on Twitter because y'all are really good at tweeting out everything. So I'm sure I'll see anything I wanna see on my Twitter after I'm done here. Well, it looks like Purple Lambda is streaming Gears of War 2. I'd like to go and support them because they've been such good friends to me. Although we also have JFry's TV playing First Class Trouble, Spiff's playing Overcooked, Arcade Bear is playing Donkey Kong Country. Which Donkey Kong Country? Jeff is playing Super Mario Party with his friends. That's really cool. Catch up when you wake up tomorrow. All right, Elias. Yeah, isn't it really late for you again right now? I'm excited for Nintendo's show because I'm hoping they have some cool stuff. I don't know. We'll see. But theirs is not until Tuesday. And on Tuesday, their show is at 9 a.m. Pacific, which for me is 6 a.m. So I'm going to have to get up at like 5 or so to make sure I can watch that live because I really want to watch that live. You're excited for the new Mario and Rabbids? Yeah. I just found it funny that Nintendo leaked that before Ubisoft showed <laughs> and then Ubisoft officially announced it but yeah that was kind of funny I was like oh Nintendo did you do that on purpose was that an ac accidental leak I don't know did you just want to take some thunder away from Ubisoft I don't know I doubt they want I, I doubt that was why they did it it's probably just unfortunate that it happened that way well, I'm glad you're excited about that. Xbox and Bethesda had really good showing today. Lots of cool new games. Not a lot that I would play myself because a lot of them were shooters and stuff and I'm not really too into that kind of stuff. But still lots of new games that they showed, lots of cool things, so I can't complain there. They had a really good show and they just did game after game after game after game. It was just like, wow, so many games. They did a really good job with it. Square Enix, on the other hand, I don't think they did very well this year, so we'll see. They have some cool things coming down the pipe, but their presentation was lackluster, so... Didn't make me very excited for anything. Plague Tale, yeah. It's nice that they're making another one. I heard the first one was good too, so... I've never tried it myself. I really want to get an Xbox now, honestly. I mean, I could do Game Pass on my PC too, but there's something about playing on consoles that I really like, so... 
yeah. If I want to stream though from the upgraded consoles, I think I'm gonna have to um, get an updated Elgato, so I can't uh, use my current one for that. Didn't see anything from it. Yeah, the Outer Worlds 2 trailer was so tongue in cheek, it was hilarious. It was really goofy, you know, saying, oh, this is not ready yet, and we, this is the protagonist, just a shadow of him that you can see appearing off the cliff, but. Yeah, I heard the first one was good, so I want to play that one too. I haven't played that one either. But it looks like something I would like, so. I would really like to try that out. Yeah, it was a it was a LOL trader <laughs> for sure. It was really funny. It's like wow, you guys really went there went there for this trailer on E3. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, I I'm excited. I, I definitely want to get an Xbox now, for sure. And you know, possibly get a. I'm gonna definitely keep my current Elgato because the one I have lets me stream old consoles because it has S video port. It has. Um, the hdmi for the newer consoles but the software it has it doesn't support past ps4 xbox one so if i get series x or if i get ps5 i can't stream from that i have to get a new elgato so which is not a big deal and then i'll have the more updated software that i can use to stream the newer games but i'm definitely keeping this old one because this old one has i can stream i can stream snes games if i want to which is really cool psychonauts 2 yes that looked really cool too it was very shooter heavy, you know, which I'm not too surprised about being Microsoft. And then they had they spent a long time on Forza, but it's cool. A lot of people I saw that were excited for those things, so I'm happy about that. I'm I have no, no problems with that. I just wouldn't play the games myself, but it's still cool that other people want them. The what was that game? Redfall. That one looked really awesome. Even though that one looks like another kind of shooty game, but it's the characters are just really cool and well designed and so diverse. The diversity was really nice to see in that lineup of four characters or something that they had. And of course it's vampires and everything, so that's pretty cool. But that I'm gonna keep an eye on for sure. That looked really cool. I wanna see how that one comes together. What a cool a cool set of diverse main characters, that's why. It's really nice to see. Oh, man. But yeah, we'll see what happens. I don't think there's anything I'm going to watch tomorrow at like E3, I don't think. So I'll just like rely on you guys to catch me up uh, for that. But Tuesday, yeah, Nintendo. Nintendo is a big one for me every year. I love to see what Nintendo brings. Sometimes it's kind of eh, but I still like to see Nintendo talk about stuff because... Lots of their games are more my speed. They don't do a whole lot of shooters and stuff. They do more of like the cutesy kind of adventure-ish. Not so many RPGs now, but you know, some Japanese-y stuff. I like Nintendo, Nintendo's games and their offerings, so. And all of their first party franchises, of course, like Mario. I'm hoping they bring us Zelda of some kind. Like, do something for Zelda 35. That's really like spectacular, it would be really cool. Even if they give us a port, to the switch of the old Zelda games or if they give us some more in Breath of the Wild 2 or if they announce something completely out of the blue you know I know we're getting Skyward Sword HD but which I'm excited about but if you look at everything they did for Mario and his 35th it's like you know Zelda is probably one of your most popular franchises do something special for it but they've just been silent been quiet about it they haven't said anything so I'm hoping they surprise us, but I'm also not going to get my hopes up because they might not do anything. <laughs> so, which is fine. We can find our own way to celebrate Zelda, but it would be nice if Nintendo did something really cool with it. I would just be happy to get like the old games ported to Switch, like Ocarina of Time, Jorah's Mask, Wind Waker, stuff like that. Oh yeah, and Switch Pro, yes, yes. I actually wouldn't mind getting one because my current Switch, I got I got the Switch when it first came out, right? So mine is really, it's old now, you know, four years old. Um, and it's starting to get a little weird, like it overheats sometimes now when it's in dock mode. I think some of the fans aren't working properly and 
it's just getting old, you know, so it would be a good time for me to replace it with a pro. So I would for sure put some money on the side for that if I can. It's probably going to be a high price point, but I would want it. I would want to get one. So yeah, that, that, that would be really cool. <laughs> But we'll see. We'll see what Nintendo does. Sometimes they surprise us, and sometimes they're they're not so surprising. But we'll see what happens. I'm expecting a Zelda drop of some kind. Something. I don't know what, but we'll see. That'll be that'll be a cool a cool thing to see on Tuesday. But okay, I'm getting hungry, so I better <laughs> send the send the raid off to others. So if y'all want to stick around, I'm gonna raid Purple Lambda. They're playing Gears of War 2. Again, I want to support them. They're going through some pretty tough times right now, so uh, I want to try and be there for them and at least bring my community over. So if you folks want to stick around just for a little bit to support them, send them some love in the chat. I would really appreciate that. Um, I don't know if anybody's new here. I think all of y'all I talked to today are people I've, I've talked to before, but if you're new here, I have lots of information about myself and my stream in the stream description. So you can find my YouTube channel, my Twitter, all other places you can find me online. So go check those out. I don't have a very solid stream schedule right now. It's kind of just when I can, but I try, I'm trying to do it more. So, but if you want to find me while I'm not streaming live, you can find all of my streams archived on YouTube, or you can come hang out with me on Twitter. Um, I have to put my Discord link back there, I think. I don't think I put it back there yet, but I do have a Discord as well, so. Um, but anyway, thank you all for being here. I'm going to switch to the end screen, but I am going to raid Purple Lambda, so please stick around if you can. Um, I'll see you folks there, but if not, you know, that's fine too. You folks have a good rest of your week. I probably will tweet out stream schedules for this week and be streaming during the week. My weekend, my weekday streams, though, are usually pretty short, so um, we'll see how those go. A Zelda collection of Ocarina of Time with Joe's Mask, Twilight. Yeah, that would be really cool. I would be so happy with that. Just ports. You know, just ports. But thank you, everyone. And also, happy Pride. Thank you for being here. Um, like, I have a little message here for you all. So just make sure you are enjoying yourself. You're being your authentic self this month. I mean, you should always be. But this is a month for us to really celebrate it. So if you're a part of the community, and even if you're not, um, I encourage you to be... To be proud this month of who you are so thank you for being here um all right enough talking let's go let's go hang out with purple lambda i'll see you guys later bye